Well, uh, I got back onto this thing today because I was thinking, I think I'm going to have a little different segment. I'm just going to add in, I was thinking. Because I heard some people talking about uh, tipping, you know, tips. And I heard one gentleman say that, well, he paid for something, was paying for something with his credit card, and they asked him, what kind of tip do you want to add? 15 or 20 percent? And he says, 15 or 20 percent? Well, I don't know whether he ever paid, he added a tip or not. But, you know, tipping is a lost art. And service is a lost art. Because back in the day, uh, I was offered a job in Las Vegas one time, in one of the big hotel, casino, resort places. And this was clear back in the 1970s, about 76. And the deal was they wanted, the guy want, knew me, talked to me, and watched me and my mannerisms. And I was, wasn't so redneck in them days. And the whole idea was he wanted me to be a waiter in the showroom. And because I figured I'd look good in a tuxedo the way I built that. And the whole deal, see the motor D, he had the waiters working for him and he got the paychecks. The waiters got all the money they collected. Well, that was in tips. Well, that was the same thing as with uh, working for uh, as a bellhop in the hotel, because the bell captain got the paycheck. That was his pay for giving the guy a job, and the guy got to keep whatever tips he made. Now you see, in those days, my ex-wife was a waitress, and she worked in a Denny's, a good Denny's restaurant, and she'd make. 70, 80, 100, $110 a shift working in that Denny's restaurant. Well, there were several of the other waitresses in there. They'd make 10 bucks, 20 bucks, 15, 30 maybe. And everybody got upset. Well, if you watched her work, when she saw somebody come into her station to sit down, she was right over there, but she picked up the coffee pot on the way over there, and she warmed up the coffee at people who were sitting at her table, so she was out of run. She took pot down, she'd take an order for those people at the new table, if they were ready, or she would, whatever, you know, coffee, water, soft drinks, anything, and she'd be gone. Well, she'd be back, right then. Well, she tipped the, pro the cook, and she tipped a couple other, she tipped the busboy. That was unheard of. Now, busboy, he was just a bum out there picking up them dirty dishes. Man. Well, she tipping, and as soon as her table was, the customers was gone from one of her tables, he was out there picking it up and cleaning it up and made it all ready for her to set up for the next customers. And the cook, when she put an order in, her order went to the front of the line. Now, people might say that's not. Well, she was working. She was doing a good job. She was providing a service. And people wanted to sit in her section. Then the government come along and stepped into this tip stuff. Well, you got to collect all the tips. We're not getting the taxes paid on these tips. And so you got to collect them all. And then if you got five waitresses working, or five waiters and waitresses, whatever, you got to divide the tips. If there's $200, it goes equally to each get the equal share. Well, that messed up the whole thing for the person that wanted to work and that was willing to work. And it messed up the whole service industry. Now, don't know whether it helped with the taxes or not. But see, then people got minimum wage. If that, at one time, they, could, they only had to pay the waiters and waitresses and service people and the hotels and stuff 
a portion of what was minimum wage. And so the tips made up most of their wages. Okay, well, we come down now. We got these companies. They're not taking the tips. Where's that tip money going to? Is it going to those uh, service people? Or does the cut go to the big shots in the business? Doesn't really matter to me. But the whole thing. You go into a fast food restaurant, they take... Well, I went into a Taco Bell, and they wanted me to punch in at the kiosk my order so they could make it up, and then I could get it when they called me. Well, I left. I didn't order nothing. I ain't going back. But anyway, because there was no service there. The high prices for these, I'm paying Nowadays, with all this inflation and COVID and everything, I'm paying six bucks for a dollar seventy-five sandwich. You know, and it ain't worth it. So, you go back, and there's no service. They take my order. Somebody fixes it up, takes it out, puts it in the microwave or something. Maybe they don't even do that. Maybe they put it on a grill. I don't know. But they make up the sandwich. And they sort of bring it to me at the counter and put it in the paper bag. There was no service above what was required for the job. So I owe no tip. I'll never tip for that. Uh, you see this old thing in the uh, movies where the bellhop takes the guy, takes the guy's luggage up to his room, sets it down. Uh, maybe he'll set it on the bed doesn't matter. But then he stands there with his hand out waiting for his tip. Well, if he carried the luggage up to the room from down in the lobby, that's all right. Maybe you ought to have a quarter or 50 cents in that place. But nowadays, I don't even think they do that. And all these fancy Hiltons and all that. Do they even have Bellman anymore? Don't think so. So who's there to tip? Maids, they don't get a tip. They just got to clean up the room. See, there's no service above and beyond. We used to do a good job when I was a kid. I worked in gas stations, full service station. Filled up the gas, washed the windshield, checked the tires, checked the oil if they wanted. Sometimes they'd give me a quarter. Back in them days, a dollar and a quarter was pretty good pay for a kid like me. Of course, that was in the 19, well, 1959, 60, 61. See, that was pretty good wages. Now, so this tip thing. These companies, people are, I don't know where people are uneducated, ignorant. But if they're just that dumb nowadays, maybe it's something the government's put in the water. I don't know. But the money ain't nothing. It's monopoly money. It ain't worth nothing. Uh, and what we're getting ain't worth nothing. You don't get a real peach anymore. You don't get a real cantaloupe anymore. They've all been so genetically modified or something. They're just stuff that you eat. Uh, so... Anyway, that's why I'm back on here. I'm just thinking. It's going to be a new channel. Channel, I might add. Well, I'll see you again. Have a good evening.